नमस्ते वेलकम टू एजुकेट नेचुरली चैनल एंड टुडे माय टॉपिक इज एसेट लाइविटी मैनेजमेंट एंड अंडर दिस टॉपिक आई विल बी मेनली फोकसिंग ऑन द थ्री थिंग्स फर्स्ट इज एसेट लाइविटी मैनेजमेंट कॉन्सेप्ट एसेट लाइविटी मैनेजमेंट विद अ रिस्क मैनेजमेंट एंड फाइनल वन इज टेक्निक ऑफ एसेट लाइविटी मैनेजमेंट Now let's begins with the concept of asset liability management. Asset liability management is a dynamic process of planning, organizing, and controlling of asset and liabilities and their volume. From this point, we can clearly note that asset liability management is all about matching the volume of asset and liabilities. Asset liability management can be defined as a mechanism to address the risks faced by the bank due to the mismatch between the asset and liabilities, either due to liquidity or the change in interest rate so when the when there is problem in the liquidity or the interest rate is heavily changes there may result in mismatch between asset and liabilities asset liability management is directly associated with the risk management which is expressed uh, in the next slide so we'll see in the next slide so asset liability management means it is also related with the risk management now in the in this slide risk management has been shown in the diagram so in this diagram we can see that the risk can be a various type which we need to identify first second we need to analyze third we need to make a plan action to deal with that risk and fourth is a monitor and implement our solution or strategy under that risk and finally we need to measure the risk and solve the issue re regarding the asset liability management and finally we can conclude that asset liability management with this point first is measurement of gap on the basis of maturity bucket so major point of asset liability management is to measure the gap on the basis of maturity bucket second is estimating the interest rate at which this fund will be repriced and a projected future interest income and interest expense likewise exploring the alternative interest rate scenario so that we can uh, balance between the asset and liabilities and finally selecting the appropriate hedging tool to minimize the risk so risks may arise now we need to uh, develop the hedging tool uh, that may be a financial derivative uh, tool so that we can minimize that risk through that derivative tools or other hedging tools and uh, now technique of asset liability management here are the some of the technique to uh, regarding the asset liability management now first is a forward contract forward contract means agreement between the two parties under which uh, buy or sell of the financial asset at a predetermined price at a specific date it means means the price is fixed at a specific date and forward contract are customized contract not standardized which means the contract are agreed upon the individual parties so from this we can clearly understand that agreement between two parties at a predetermined price at a fixed date and uh, mutual agreement between the parties so this can also be a call traded over the counter otc contract now the buyer of the forward contract has a right and obligation to buy then the seller of the forward contract also has a buy a right and obligation to sell the contract the buyer of the contract takes a long position then the seller of the contract takes a short position this can be clearly understand so next is a future contract future contract and a forward contract are a similar contract but the difference is that only in a one point that the future a uh, contract are standardized contract whereas the forward contract are non standardized contract hence it is traded in the exchange market or the uh, organized market the buyer of this contract take the long position and the seller of the contract take the short position likewise next uh, technique of asset liability management is option the word option means the holder has a right but not obligation to buy or sell the underlying asset option is a contract that gives the holder the position to buy or sell the specific quantity of underlying asset at a particular
price on or before a specific time period. Now, the next technique regarding the asset liability management is interest rate swap. Interest rate swap is a contract between the two parties to exchange interest payment in an effort to save money and hedge against the interest rate risks. Interest rate swap deals with the asset maturity mismatch, KD rating difference and foreign exchange. From this point, we can clearly understand that interest rate gap will solve the uh, various issue regarding the mismatch between the maturity of asset and liabilities, KD rating difference and foreign exchange. And now, fifth technique is duration gap management. Duration gap management means uh, managing the gap between the asset and liabilities that that include the weighted average duration of asset portfolio and weighted average duration of liabilities portfolio. Duration gaps gaps simply give the information about which of the asset or liability is sensitive to change in the interest rate and the mathematically formula for the duration gap is weighted duration of asset portfolio minus weighted duration of liabilities portfolio. And final technique is interest sensitive gap regarding the asset liability management and under this uh, issue we can directly note that interest sensitive gap means difference between the interest sensitive asset and interest sensitive liabilities and that is ISA minus ISL. So, we will deal with this issue in a more detail. Now, in this slide we can just find out the position and interest rate and normal action what to take or what to what not to take and aggressive management action what could be the aggressive management action. So, if the interest sensitive gap position is positive and in this case if the rising there is a rise in interest rate then normal action will be wait for the gain means we will wait some period for the gain. But if you take a aggressive, aggressive management action then what could be that aggressive management action means increase in the asset sensitive asset and decrease in asset sensitive liabilities that could be aggressive management action means you will increase the asset sensitive interest sensitive asset and you will decrease the interest sensitive liabilities. So, if the IS gap is posi positive and the expected interest rate in the market are falling then in that in that case if you just sit on the normal action then your action could be a gap to be a to be a met or zero but if the if your aggressive action could be what increase in a in interest sensitive liabilities but decrease in a interest sensitive asset now in the negative situation of the gap if the market interest rate are rising then you will just try to make the gap zero, but aggressive management action could be increase in interest sensitive asset and decrease in interest sensitive liabilities. Now, in in same situation negative situation if the interest rate are falling then you will just wait for the gain and in this position we will just increase in interest sensitive liabilities and try to decrease in such sensitive gap. So, regarding the asset liability management this much on my topic I will be bringing more topic on more coming days. So, please subscribe the channel educate naturally to enhance your knowledge regarding the banking and other more financial sector to enhance your better career development. Thank you so much.